Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am starting to get my home ready for the winter. It's starting to get a little bit chilly, so I'm starting to make some preparations as we head into the colder months. So I thought I would share all of the things that I'm doing with you in today's video. I'm actually sitting in the office slash spare room because one of the things I love to do at winter time is get some new winter bedding. So I have been down to Primark and bought some very nice winter bedding, which I'll show you shortly. So I've stripped the bed in here. So yeah, you might want to grab a pen and paper so you can jot down some of the things that I'm doing that maybe you'll want to do in your own home. And you also may want to take note of a very generous discount code that I have got for you if you're in the market for a new mattress or a new bed frame or some new bedding. I'm delighted to be working with Emma again. I absolutely love my Emma mattress. I've got a single one in here and I've also got the Super King in in the bedroom, it's the Emma Original. And the discount code I've got for you is Carrington Sleep, and that is going to get you an additional 5% off any of the ongoing promotions and discounts on their website. So definitely worth making a note of that discount code and having a little browse. As I say, I absolutely love my Emma mattress. I've had it now for over three years. I've done previous videos where I've tested them out, so I will link one of those in the description box for you so you can have a watch of that one as well. This summer we had some of our hottest weather in London ever, and I really love the fact that the mattress kept me nice and cool. They are so comfy. I would describe them as kind of like the perfect mix of being firm enough to give you all the support that you need and it means that if you're rolling around in the night you don't tend to kind of disturb a partner look at this bottle here so if I push down here you can see that the bottle is hardly moving so yeah the support on this mattress is fantastic you know some mattresses can start to sink this has not done that in any areas so yeah it's still nice and firm nice and flat but also it has a really nice softness to it on the top layer which I absolutely love. I also love the fact that you can remove the covers so they're completely machine washable which is fantastic especially if you've got children or pets. They come with free shipping and returns and you also get a 200 night trial so you've got 200 nights to test them out, check it's the right mattress for you because it is so important that we get the right mattress isn't it? So you've got that 200 nights to try it out. The mattress actually arrives in a box as well so you're not going to be delivered a huge bulky mattress. The box makes it much easier to transport around the home so you can get it situated in the room that you want it to be in and then you can unbox it and it kind of expands it's very very cool as I say I've had this mattress for over three years and I can highly recommend it to you the one down here the kittens have kind of claimed they love the <laughs> sun that comes in through the window but it's ever so nice to have a little day bed in here as well you can just have a little afternoon nap and it is divine. The mattresses come up with a 10 year warranty and they've also won lots of awards. I think it's six years that they've won the Witch Best Buy and it's not just mattresses that they have, they also have bed frames which are definitely worth having a look at. They've got things like divan beds that look really nice with storage drawers in the sides. You know I like a little bit of storage. They've also got bed frames, toppers, pillows and duvets as well so definitely have a browse on their website. I'm going to leave it linked in the description box along with my discount code so that you will get that additional 5% off any offers and promotions that are already on the site. And that discount code is Carrington Sleep. Thank you again to Emma for working with me on today's video and also for that generous discount code, which I can pass on to you. Right, let's show you the bedding that I've bought. So this is the first thing that I like to do in winter time is go through my bedding and see if there's any that needs a little refresh and in Primark I spied some beautiful bedding for the winter. How about this? So it's this really sweet robin design with the little holly berries and it's in brushed cotton which is really nice for this time of year isn't it? It's just that little bit kind of cosy feeling. It feels warm to the touch. This was £14 and then I also picked up a new fitted sheet. This one was £7.50, 100% cotton and I also got the matching pillowcases for £3.50 for two pillowcases as well and this one comes with one pillowcase so have a nice little array of pillows in here. I really like the fact that this is kind of festive but it's not Christmas bedding. I would call this winter bedding so that means that it will stay on the bed for a lot longer. I can pop it on now and it will go right the way through December and it would even be nice to stay on there in January. You know it's not covered in sort of Father Christmases and that sort of thing. We've got 
kind of acorns on there too. So yeah, winter bedding I think is the way forward and you can always add a touch of like Christmas decorations around it. And it's just plain on the other side as well so you could always flip it over. I do like a duvet case that you can flip over. I'm gonna pop these in the wash and then get them on the bed, get it nice and cozy in here and then we're gonna go around and tackle a few other jobs around the home. Okay, so that's the washing on. Next on my list, I have got to check the radiators, check the boiler. It's a good time to bleed the radiators. If you haven't done that for a while, it's very simple. You just need the little key. You go in at the side and give that a little twist. I can't actually find my key at the moment. So I'm putting that one on hold, that's gonna stay on the list. But as soon as I find the key, I'm gonna go around and bleed all the radiators. You can also put some of this stuff behind them. This is some reflective foil. It's got kind of like a polystyrene side and then the foil. You can usually pick this up quite cheaply online or also um, in certain supermarkets or bargain stores and that sort of thing. So I've cut that size and slotted it in behind the radiator. It's especially good to pop that one on your external walls if you've got a radiator on an external wall. And I've also picked up recently a small heater. So this is more for emergencies and also just for heating a small space. I got this one in Poundland, it was only 12 pounds, which I thought was a good price for a small compact heater. And I've tested it out and it does heat up very, very fast. And I've had a little look at the smart meter display and it isn't shooting up when this is switched on. So it's a nice one just to warm your legs or warm a very small area and with it being electric I thought should the boiler have any issues at least we have a heater to heat a small space. I did have a couple of oil filled freestanding radiators in the loft which I actually got rid of during the loft conversion clear out. It's typical isn't it but I didn't really predict that energy prices would be what they are a couple of years ago. Also you may know I've had a bit of a rejig in here for winter so I pulled the sofa out from in front of the radiator flipped it around and just made this area a lot more cozy. When I've been at the shops I've added a few extra things Things to my basket including some batteries these are really handy at winter time if we do face any power cuts this year it means that I can pop them into small string lights and that sort of thing so I can light spaces I've also picked up one of these head torches I actually got this in a shop called one below and it was only one pound and it works pretty well it just takes three batteries and you've got quite a nice bright light on there with an elastic strap so you can pop it on your head in the case of a power cut it's also quite good for winter walks and that sort of thing. We've got some tea lights from Poundland. You can get 24 in there for one pound and they've got a burn time of three and a half hours. And I've also stocked up on some lighters that I get in Lidl. This time of year I'll check the windows as well for any cracks and damage and I'll usually fill in any gaps with some putty and let that dry. It's great to do on a sunny day like today. This window is a firm favourite with the kittens because they love the sun coming in here. It's really nice and warm for them. But these gaps in the windows can create drafts, so I'm going to solve that now. I picked up some of this expanding foam weather strip. It's 10 mil by five meters, and you can cut this to size and stick it in between any cracks. And this was only one pound from Poundland, so I think it's well worth picking up one of these if you've got some little gaps to fill. Make your home more energetic efficient. So you can just roll it out and measure the strip that you need and you just cut it with the scissors so it's very very easy to install. And then it has a sticky backing so you can just peel that off and stick it wherever you need it to go. You're gonna give me a hand? Chewing it is not gonna help, thank you mittens. <laughs> Come on then, let's get this on the window. And as you can see now, the gap is nicely sealed. Okay, you can get back to your sunbathing now. Another thing you can do to add some insulation to your windows is add some bubble wrap. So I've got some here that I just saved from some packaging. And you can just spray some water onto the window and the bubble wrap should just stick on like that. So it's really easy to remove again. That will give us a nice layer of insulation. I think that looks kind of cool. I also like to go through my medicine box and just check that I've got plenty of things for winter. Usually at this time of year I'll throw in a few extra things into my basket, just like paracetamol, lemsip, that kind of stuff. Just make sure that everything in here is stocked up and also 
There's nothing in here that's out of date. I've also taken out my Thermos water bottles. So these ones keep hot drinks hot. So if you have a flask or anything like that, it might be a good time to take it out. I've actually been boiling the kettle and then adding hot water into this to use throughout the day. So I'm only boiling the kettle once. And if you want to give these a good clean, a good little tip is to throw in a denture tablet with some boiling hot water. At this time of year, I also stock up on tinned foods as well. I usually pop a few extra ones into my trolley or my basket when I'm at the supermarket. It's just good to have them in and obviously they've got a very long use-by date on them so they're great to have in for over winter. And I try to line them up so that I can see exactly what I've got. We've got enough of everything, need to get you some more cat food. <laughs> it's that time of year for me to get the slow cooker out and we'll start using that of an evening. Now is a good time to check any pipes, any outdoor pipes that may need some insulation on them. I've recently installed an outdoor tap on the roof garden, so I picked up one of these from Aldi and just hooks over the tap to offer some frost protection. So it's kind of got like a little elastic in there. You just hook it on the tap and that will sit over it. I mean, this is just made out of polystyrene, so if you wanted to make something similar, you could have a look for some polystyrene packaging and just find a way to fasten that over your outside tap. Hopefully that will save a call out to the plumber. Now is also a great time to locate your stopcock if you don't know where that is in your home. Make sure you know where that is located because if a pipe was to burst, you will be instantly able to switch off the water supply. They're often situated near to the front door of a property. Sometimes you might also find them under the sink. I've also dug out all of my extra warm blankets and we're not forgetting the kittens. I've got them, this new blanket from down at the boot sale, which is going to be lovely and cozy for them. Now is also a great time to dig out any winter scarves and hats and gloves and just make sure that you've got everything that you need for the coming months. So I've dug out my basket here. I'm just gonna go through it just to check if anything in here maybe needs a little wash or there's things that maybe I don't need anymore. Like I'll be using these this winter. Fingerless gloves. I'm also going to take out my hot water bottles and have those ready on the beds for these cold nights ahead. Now is a good time to be checking your gutters for any fallen leaves or any of that kind of stuff. And I can actually kind of access mine from the loft window. I can kind of reach to them with the help of these. So obviously don't be leaning out of any windows. It is very safe for me to be able to do this and not be leaning over any dangerous edges. But with some pickers like these, I just picked these up from the pound shop. It makes the job a lot easier to reach in and grab any leaves that might be blocking the guttering. Okay, let me show you a quick and easy way to make a draft excluder for the bottom of your doors. So you can take an old pair of trousers, but don't worry because the great thing about this little trick is that you can use the trousers afterwards. So we're not gonna be destroying these. Turn them inside out and then fold them in half like that. And then take the two legs together and then turn it inside out with just one of the legs, if that makes sense. So pull it all the way through. They should be left with something that looks kind of like just one leg, <laughs> which we can then start to stuff with some towels or newspaper, bubble wrap, anything that you have lying around. Then you can pop a ribbon around the ends if you want to or just tuck them in on themselves and you've got a weighty draft excluder and you don't have to destroy your trousers. 
those are all of my tips. I hope you found some of them useful. I'm sure there's lots of things that I've forgotten, so I would love to hear what you are doing with your home to prepare it for winter, so please do leave me a comment and tell me how you're preparing your home for this winter. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, so if you did, do give it a little thumbs up. And don't forget to click subscribe if you're new here for brand new videos every single week. Also, don't forget to make the most of my discount code with Emma. I'll leave all the information that you need in the description box. And thank you again to Emma for working with me on today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.